I grew up in this small city, uh, you know, humble beginnings. Um, it's just it's just a place where you know everybody know everybody. You know, uh, I just I just love it. He's just so quality. He comes back. He gives to the community. He represents himself and his family, the Texans, Vanderbilt, Port Allen High, at such a high level. Proud is not even a good word to use because it'll go past that. Intercepted Andre Howe, down the sideline 20. Andre Howe, 15, 10, 5, reaches for the pylon. He does it again. Andre Howe. To make to make love, that's all I want to do. Make to make love. It's into the air and intercepted. Andre Howe. There he is again, Andre Howe. Andre Howe, the second of the game at the 15. He's got it. Back home on my hometown, Port Allen, Louisiana. Uh, got the Texans with me, brought Houston to Port Allen. Just want to show them around, show them my city, show them where I grew up. I think Port Allen is, is what shaped me to who I am today. It's a small town, you know, living. My high school was like 300 kids. I graduated like 40, 50 kids, and like it just, it's a place where, you know, people really don't make it out of, you know, it just, you never really hear about Port Allen. Like, when I tell people where I'm from, like, what, Port Allen? I just say Baton Rouge, because they know what Baton Rouge is, because I'm so close to Baton Rouge, but uh, this is how I grew up. And I, I'm, I'm proud of it, man. I'm proud of who I am and what it made me. Hey, one more. Hey. How you doing? How you doing? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> so yeah, that's where we grew up at. <laughs> My mom, yeah. what's up? Hey, y'all caught up with me, huh? We caught up with you. When we prayed for our son, and we got him, and he was just everything you could want in a, in a, in a child, in a baby, especially being a boy. I already had two girls, so he was my last one, and I, I wasn't happy anymore, so he was like a miracle child to me, to us, to the whole family. He came right out the womb, pretty much, and was a sports person, just like my little grandbaby. First of all, he started with soccer and then he start playing peewee football. Then he start track. Whatever sports that he thought he wanted to play, he played. And uh, what else we have? Oh yeah, my first interception ball in the preseason. This, oh, this was my second one. I guess the 49ers, pick six. So I kept this ball, real proud of it. Oh, right side, picked off, How? He's gonna take it up the left sideline. 30. 25, 20, Andre Howe, 15. What's up, what's up, what's up? What's up, how you doing? What's up, man, how you doing? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. You see, yeah. you see Andre making to the pros, and everybody like, wow, that kid made to the pros. But we saw that, and we, you, you saw glimpses of it in high school. One night we played a school called Appaloosa. He had three special team touchdowns. He broke the school record. He had two kickoff returns for a touchdown, and he had one punt return for a touchdown. I don't know what was the matter with Appaloosa. They kept kicking it to him, and he kept taking it to the house. He broke the school record that night. He got Baton Rouge Area Player of the Week that night. It was one of the moments we say, that's a special kid we got. He knew that he was gonna have to work, and you know, you could see that in 100% effort in everything that he did in the classroom, you know, excellent student in the classroom. You know, you never heard of teachers talking about him struggling, and, and he knew. He knew what that expectation was, and he knew that it started in the classroom and it started on campus before he ever hit the football field. Up and down on the grass, this is where we ran at. Start near the street, ran the fast camp to the left. That kind of builds your speed. That's one thing we kind of did here in the country. They didn't have all the training facilities like they have in like California and, and Florida and all that. So this was our training facility right here on this levee. How could count on one hand the days of school that he missed in, in a four year period. Um, never missed practice. Never missed the weight room. Knew he had to get in his weight room. Out there on the track field running that heat. Um, just such great character. And when those guys leave, you look, you like, I'm gonna give me another couple of them. And sometimes they don't come back for five or 10 years. You know, my mom made sure we, we had everything we needed. So uh, 
but I always wanted like more. I always wanted to see more. I always wanted to like travel and see the world and like fly on airplanes and have nice cars and get a nice house and help my mom out, help my sisters out. And uh, that kind of that kind of pushed me to where I wanted to go because um, you don't see that around here, man. You see all you see around here is kind of like people just doing the same thing. Like I come home now and like I see the same people on the corner, the same people on the streets, and like it's just doing the same old thing. And uh, just going to Vanderbilt out of high school didn't wasn't really highly recruited, but. Uh, you know, Vanderbilt took, took a chance with me, and I went there and uh, graduated on time, and then got to the league. And uh, my dream came true, cause I really pursued it and I really went after it. And uh, I just thank God for it. Seeing my son come out the tunnel on Sundays is a dream come true. Coming out of high school, coming out of college, he was underrated, and you know what? And that made him play with a chip on his shoulder. He told me, he said, Mom, I'm just going to go in and do what I have to do. And I'm very proud of him. Carrying it out down the right sideline and intercepted. And Andre Howe with the pick. This city, they need that. They need somebody that, you know, that, that, that they can see that, you know, made some of themselves on a big stage. And uh, I want to be that guy for them. Because anybody can do it. No matter where you're from, no matter who you are, if you constantly put that work in, man, it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen for you. And, uh, and I'm just a, a testimony of it that, you know, just hard work and dedication equals equal success. <laughs>